I wish I could persuade everyone to be devoted to St. Joseph, for I have great experience of the blessings which he can obtain from God. I have never known anyone to be truly devoted to him who did not advance in virtue, for he gives very real help to souls who commend themselves to him. St. Teresa of Avila May St. Joseph become for all of us an exceptional teacher in the service of Christ's saving mission, a mission which is the responsibility of each and every member of the church. Husbands and wives, parents, those who live by the work of their hands or by any other kind of work, those called to the contemplative life or to the apostolate. St. John Paul II, Seventh Sunday, 17 March, 2024. On this seventh Sunday, we remember St. Joseph's sorrow when he lost the child, Jesus, and his joy in finding him in the temple. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O glorious St. Joseph, pattern of all holiness, when you lost the child, Jesus, you sought him sorrowing for the space of three days, until with great joy you found him again in the temple, sitting in the midst of the doctors. By this sorrow and this joy, we ask you, with our hearts upon our lips, to keep us from ever having the misfortune of losing Jesus through mortal sin. Grant also that we always may seek him with unceasing sorrow, when we commit a serious sin, until we find him again, ready to show us his great mercy in the sacrament of reconciliation. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Chapter 2, verse 41 to 50. Now his parents went to Jerusalem every year at the feast of the Passover. And when he was twelve years old, they went up according to custom. And when the feast was ended, as they were returning, the boy Jesus stayed behind in Jerusalem. His parents did not know it, but supposing him to be in the company, they went a day's journey, and they sought him among their kinsfolk and acquaintances. And when they did not find him, they returned to Jerusalem seeking him. After three days they found him in the temple, sitting among the teachers, listening to them and asking them questions, and all who heard him were amazed at his understanding and his answers. And when they saw him, they were astonished, and his mother said to him, Son, why have you treated us so? Behold, your father and I have been looking for you anxiously. And he said to them, How is it that you sought me? Did you not know that I must be in my father's house? and they did not understand the saying which he spoke to them. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Reflection, faith, hope, love. These are the supports of Joseph's life and of all Christian lives. Joseph's self-giving is an interweaving of faithful love, loving faith, and confident hope. His feast is thus a good opportunity for us to renew our commitment to the Christian calling God has given each of us. When you sincerely desire to live by faith, hope, and love, the renewal of your commitment is not a matter of picking up again something neglected. When there really is faith, hope, and love, renewal means staying in God's hands, despite our personal faults, mistakes, and defects. It is a confirmation of our faithfulness. Renewing our commitment means renewing our fidelity to what God wants of us. It means expressing our love in deeds. Saint Joseph Maria Escriva. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Litany of St. Joseph Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, hear us. Christ, graciously hear us. God, the Father of heaven. Have mercy on us. 
God, the Son Redeemer of the world. Have mercy on us. God, the Holy Spirit. Have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God. Have mercy on us. Holy Mary. Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Noble offspring of David. Pray for us. Light of patriarchs. Pray for us. Spouse of the Mother of God. Pray for us. Chaste guardian of the Virgin. Pray for us. Foster father of the Son of God. Pray for us. Zealous defender of Christ. Pray for us. Head of the Holy Family. Pray for us. Joseph most just. Pray for us. Joseph most chaste. Pray for us. Joseph most prudent. Pray for us. Joseph most courageous. Pray for us. Joseph most obedient. Pray for us. Joseph most faithful. Pray for us. Mirror of patience. Pray for us. Lover of poverty. Pray for us. Model of workmen. Pray for us. Glory of domestic life. Pray for us. Guardian of virgins. Pray for us. Pillar of families. Pray for us. Comfort of the afflicted. Pray for us. Hope of the sick. Pray for us. Patron of the dying. Pray for us. Terror of demons. Pray for us. Protector of the Holy Church. Pray for us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Spare us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Graciously hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. He has made him Lord of his household. And Prince over all his possessions. Let us pray. O God, who in your loving providence chose blessed Joseph to be the spouse of your most holy mother. Grant us the favor of having him for our intercessor in heaven, whom on earth we venerate as our protector, you who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.